Thank you for coming out tonight. Native in the house. Who is ready to party like it's 1491? Anyone? <laughs> That's right, I'm the Indian portion of this. The rest of you, you're getting very sleepy, very sleepy. <laughs> After the show, you will give back all of the land. <laughs> and you will stop casting Lou Diamond Phillips as an Indian in your cowboy movies. I am not from the reservation. I'm originally from a small fishing village on the Pacific coast called uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> Born in LA, at birth I weighed in at 11 pounds, five ounces. Yeah, worst part was 11 pound head, five ounce body. I was a globe on a Q-tip. All my baby pictures, like. But my mom had an easy delivery because uh, I'm adopted. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Navajo adopted by a Mexican mother and a Jewish father. I am a bargain hunter-gatherer. <laughs> and I'm actually considered an illegal in the native country because uh, you can no longer adopt an Indian child from their tribe. That is called the Indian Child Welfare Act. And they pass that law to protect our people from Angelina Jolie. <laughs> got on the Ancestry.com reason. I was researching my family roots. I got on Ancestry.com. I found out on my Navajo side, I found out my grandfather was a medicine man. I was all excited. I'm like, yeah, grandpa's a medicine man. And it turns out he's a pharmacist at CVS. <laughs> People find out you're native. They start asking all sorts of questions. I got this. Oh, Mark, you're Native American. I bet you're... Children have beautiful tribal names. I'm like, uh, yeah, a little big mouth and Greta till summer. <laughs> oh, can you share some ancient tribal wisdom? <laughs> I, I just make stuff up like, yeah, ancient tribal wisdom. I'm, uh, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. <laughs> Felt good to get out of the rain. I actually asked me the other night after show, I said, oh, is it true you Navajos in your travels, you're guided by outer voices? I'm like, yeah, dude, it's called an OnStar navigation system. <laughs> I started messing with the OnStar the other day. You can change the voices, and they added a Nigerian guy to the OnStar voices. That guy tripped me out. He goes, you will go 3.1 miles. You will make a right turn into your bank parking lot. You will withdraw $7,500 and mail it to my uncle in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm the only Indian still always losing money in casinos. I suck. <laughs> I was out in Wisconsin a couple weeks ago. I performed at the Ho-Chunk Tribal Casino. I'm now an honorary member of the Ho-Chunk Tribe because I lost a whole chunk of money. <laughs> and these celebrity slot machines, have you seen that nonsense? Celebrity slot machines, Michael Jackson slot machine, Elvis Presley slot machine. There's a Britney Spears slot machine. They need, what they need is a Dr. Phil slot machine, right? Every time you lose, you're like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Even if you win, like, you still got a problem. <laughs> and if you're new to Las Vegas, you've probably discovered when you gamble that there are free drinks when you gamble in the casino. Free drinks in the casino, that is like a free blindfolds at a rifle range. <laughs> I had so many free drinks on Tuesday night, I lost $300 on an ice machine. I went to the roulette table, I tried to buy a vowel. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, what happens in Vegas stays on my credit report. Yeah, I'm going through a little fiscal difficulties because I work too much in Vegas and I have two daughters in college at the same time. Same time, I'm old enough to be the dad, I'm broke enough to be the roommate. <laughs> I went to a financial counselor the other day. He referred me to the suicide hotline. <laughs> Visa called my house, Visa called my house. Hey, Mr. Yaffe, we haven't received your last payment. I'm like, sir, trust me, you've received my last payment. 